Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to, fears over the safety of schools and hospitals. The government orders urgent fire testing on public buildings as the number of failing safety standards following the Grenfell blaze continues to rise. The price of power, Theresa May faces a backlash from Scotland and Wales over her £1 billion deal with the DUP and warnings it could threaten the Northern Ireland peace process. Breaking news overnight, the US claims Syria is preparing a chemical weapons attack and warns the country it will pay a heavy price if it carries out another mass murder of civilians. On the heart-stopping moment, a 14-year-old girl fell 25 feet from an amusement park ride. This morning, we meet the hero who raced to catch her. Yo, catch her! Tuesday, 27th of June, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Oh, sorry, shorty. sorry. It's, it's actually broken. I try every morning. Chair's oh. broken and I'm also wearing the world's tightest shirt. We had a bit of a shirt <laughs> problem this morning following the button popping incident. Uh, so uh, this was the only one left in my Actually, your voice cupboard. is sounding a little bit strangled. I'm literally <laughs> being strangled to death by this shirt. So, so if we're I all going to get there, hit by flying buttons as well. Oh, it's nothing worse. It's two and a half hours of live telly with a nice tight shirt just to <laughs> crunch into your neck and strangle <laughs> oh, you. Oh. I think they're trying to kill me here. Are they? Are they? You finally realised. <laughs> Chair's broken. Um, the subtle shirt. hints. Welcome to the programme. Uh, anything else you want to have a, a word about? You know what I'm really annoyed about? Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah, this go is on. going to start two and a half hours of this. Right. So we have one of the biggest crises this country has faced in, Still in it. many decades following mm. the Grenfell Fire disaster, where we have thousands and thousands of people being thrown into the street because their tower blocks have also been found to have this combustible cladding, which basically means they've been living in death traps. Unbelievable. Uh, which have been... They've been put there by Labour and Conservative councils, right? Yeah. Labour and Conservative governments. And, do you know, not a single person from the British government, from Theresa May's government, would come on the show today to defend this... Or, or to talk it, about it. Or to so talk Michael about Fallon agreed and then it. pulled out at midnight, right? Nobody from Labour's shadow cabinet would come on either. They don't want to have to face tough questions. So we're going to put these tough questions to them throughout the show, even though they're not here, and see how they like those onions, because it's cowardice, it's gutless, and they owe it to the people of this country to face some music and to give some answers. And the invitation is open this morning, of sure. course. If you don't want to be abused for the next two and a half hours, come on. Come on and do your jobs. You overpaid, underworked, lazy and possibly criminally negligent group of wastrels because what you have done to these people with these towers is a disgrace. Right. Laura's got a job to do Laura, this morning and that's weather. to uh, give us a weather forecast. Now, change your outfit. Whatever you are doing this morning, do not leave the house with flip-flops. Don't leave the house without an umbrella or a coat because rain is on the way. And they'll come in handy every day this week. So the weather is turning. I'll have all the soggy details in about half an hour. Well, that was cheerful. Thank you. <laughs>